Welcome to boot camp. So this is the 10 a.m. session. Um, and if you're not here for a presentation on new media, then you're in the wrong room. So what I'm going to talk about today um, is basically new business opportunities with new media, which I didn't get to pick the title of the presentation. I kind of just slotted myself in. But throughout this presentation, I think you'll learn that restrictions are a good thing. It can actually help creativity. Um, don't sit in front of the camera. Right, sorry. Okay, sorry. Um, so who knows any of these companies? Can identify these logos? They're pretty popular. Anyone? Huh? Anyone? See Gmail. See Gmail, yeah. So people know Gmail. So um, these are all what's called Web 2.0 companies, the kind of new wave of struggling entrepreneurs after the dot-com fallout. So of course, they're all overvalued, and they spend way too much money on Aeron shares. Um, <laughs> but you know, they've created new things. You know, Flickr, you can put your photos online. You know, YouTube and Google with their web videos. Dig, so you can promote stupid stories about you know, random cats or dog pictures. You know, it's all creating value, isn't it, people? <laughs> Tons of value. But, but what I want to ask is, you know, does new media equal new business opportunities? I think it's more of a question, more of a theory. Let's, let's do a little thought experiment. What if everything was Web 2.0? I mean, just going around you know, for your normal day life, you know, would you go to, you know, the McDonald's and then get, you know, into your Chev Doc Rolet? You, you would pick between, what, UPS Theta or FedExer as your mailing options. Like, applying these principles, you know, of Web 2.0, oh, internet, you know, internet connectivity, uh, the power of the user, embracing new media interfaces, you know, does it really create that value? Does it really make sense for everyone? You know, you know 3M, mmm, that's a good slogan. That's a good new way of viewing it. Um, so I want to put this theory, this, uh, you know, as an equation, because I think everything looks smarter as an equation. The equation is basically <laughs> going to be new plus media, so new media equals New plus business plus opportunities. New business opportunities. I still think that's a little bit too complex. And I think new is overrated. I mean, tons of stuff are new. You know, like whatever new Apple product, you know, your new iPod. Now, slightly smaller with one more gig of space. But people come in and they buy it. Does it really add that much value? Does it matter if your phone is, uh, you know, a millimeter smaller? you know, your HD TV two inches larger? What are we going for with new? You know, new is just a way of viewing things, and it isn't always successful. Sometimes people prefer the good old Coke, not the new stuff. That's probably in an abandoned landfill somewhere in the Nevada desert. So new does not always have value. So let's, let's say it's overrated. Let's just cross that out. Because, you know, I'm using well, what, basic algebra. Just cross it out on both sides. I think that's how math works. <laughs> so now we've got a much simpler equation. Media equals business opportunities, which is pretty simple, right? I mean, you just want to keep things simple. You don't want to overcomplicate the process. So, you know, with that as the basic starting point, let's try a little interactive exercise. I call this improvisation web 2.0 style. If you don't like that, you know, entrepreneurial improv. <laughs> um, basically, you know, I, I borrow, actually, no. Basically, I stole this idea. Amateurs borrow, the great ones steal. So I stole this from a previous conference, and it's Entrepreneur Improv Theater. You're going to create groups, you know, teams of five, and I'm going to give you a very short amount of time to come up with new business ideas, you know, how to create value. And like, like I said, since you only get a little bit of time, it doesn't have to be a great idea. It can be half-baked off-the-wall theories, just some kind of you know, things you talk about with your friends when you're slightly hungover or bored. Um, and the one final thought I want to leave you with about limitations is, this, does anyone know what this is? Falling water. This is Frank Lord Wright's Falling Water, which is a great architectural um, building that's just about 50 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. Um, and the reason why I show you this picture is um, Frank Lord Wright has a great quote. Man, boasts, man built most nobly when limitations were at their greatest. 
So as you do this exercise today, you know, you only get a little bit of time and you're kind of stressed and you have the rest of the conference, you might not want to do it. So I'm giving you all these limitations. Don't expect much, but you know, try your best. Because perhaps you'll build something great today. Maybe the half-baked idea that you come up with in 10 minutes will be the next, you know, Gmail or Flickr or a company that isn't overvalued. The next guru.com. So here's the judging criteria. And you know, my esteemed panel of judges, who are not existent in this room, will judge you afterwards. So the main thing is speed. You have 10 minutes, which is going to start right after this presentation. If you don't present at the end of um, the time I give you, you're going to lose automatically. And like they say, if you don't try, you never win. So at least try to come up with a presentation. Creativity is much more important than feasibility. Like I said, you know, you can come up with off-the-wall ideas, you know, and you can keep it humorous too if you want. Um, the business needs. Now, not every business needs this, but these are the quickest things for us to evaluate. Come up with a name, um, which is just going to be um, two words plus dot com. So we're going to have a little brainstorming session after this to help you with it. Your product or service, which is the grand idea that you have. The business model, how do you make money? You have to somehow monetize this. Um, marketing plan, how do you get random people to give you money? You know, that's actually a really important business principle. And then finally, branding, um, which we're gonna give ridiculous amount of points for just because we like cool logos and taglines <laughs> and not important kind of filler type stuff, and it's more fun. <laughs> so the final thing we're gonna do is, here's how it works to get your company name. You're gonna take two random words, Mush them together, add .com on the end. This is how all the important companies are started. I mean, Flick plus R, that's how it goes. G plus Mail, there you go. So um, this is stuff I came up with you know, in a minute. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to brainstorm and get rid of all these, and you're going to come up with your own. We can't go with freebacon.com? Uh, <laughs> you can suggest it again, free. Why not free you? <laughs> 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 <laugh